Once you've completed the required configurations within the public cloud accounts, you can now onboard those accounts within Redlock. You do that by making sure you've clicked on the gear icon in the upper right-hand corner of the Redlock admin console. Uh, there is a ribbon of sub tabs that is exposed when you click on that icon. Under cloud accounts, you can click add new. We'll use Amazon Web Services as a demonstration, but notice there is support for AWS, Azure, and GCP. We'll give the cloud account a name. And then click Next. Notice this is a wizard workflow where we can go back to the previous screen by clicking on Previous, or once we've entered the required parameters, we can click Next to proceed. I want to enter a valid AWS account ID. This is a 12-digit number that represents your AWS account. We're going to use dummy values for this demonstration so as not to compromise any actual AWS accounts. So I'll cut and paste a 12-digit AWS account ID into the AWS account ID field. Notice there is context-sensitive help that describes what all these parameters uh, are used for, basically. The second value that we want to enter is the external ID. The external ID is used to allow third-party access to your AWS resources. Finally, we want to configure a role ARN, our Amazon resource name. We'll enter a valid Amazon ARN for the role, which we'll name Redlock in this example. Once we've done this, notice that everything has been configured. There's no red boxes saying that anything is misconfigured. If I were to change this role to user, notice that Amazon is saying that that is not a valid role ARN, but rather it's the user type ARN. So I'm going to go back to role and click next. In the next step, we'll show how you can associate this account with a account group, but for now we'll proceed and click on next. Now what's happened here is that Redlock is attempting to actually connect to your public cloud. It wants to validate that you have VPC flow log, data that's being ingested, cloud trail data, inspector data, and guard duty. Because we use dummy values, we're getting a red bang or alert for, for the status and an indication that either the account ID or the role ARN is invalid for this account, which is what we would have expected. And that's how you go about creating an AWS cloud account within Redlock. Now, if I wanted to go a little further with the organization of my cloud accounts, what I could do next is I could click on account groups. I can add a new group for accounts. I can give that a name. And I can also provide a description here. And notice because I have created one cloud account, if I use the drop down box, I can select the cloud account we just created a few moments ago. And then I can click Save. I have now successfully created my first account group, description, and the cloud accounts that I've added to this account group.